Hello everyone, welcome back with another video on CSS and this session is all about CSS colors. We will start with discussing colors and then we will see hex value and RGB format of the color. After which we will discuss RGBA colors, HSL colors and HSLA colors and finally we will end up with opacity. In end of every format of colors, we will do an example to understand how to add colors to your web page. So without much ado, let's get started. We have already seen some properties in CSS that take color values and there are different ways to specify colors in CSS. Colors are displayed combining red, green and blue. The CSS color codes comes in three different forms like color names, hexadecimal notation and hexadecimal shorthand. With CSS, you can set the color by using color names. CSS supports more than 140 color names and uses the color values to specify a color. And another way to specify a color is done by hexadecimal notation using RGB triplets. And here each set of two characters represents the colors red, green and blue respectively. Probably the most common way to specify colors in CSS is to use their hexadecimal values. Actually hex values are different way to represent RGB values. Instead of using three numbers between 0 and 255, use six hexadecimal numbers. Hex numbers can be 0 to 9 and A to F. Hex values are always prefixed with hash symbol. The shortest form of six digit notation is hexadecimal shorthand and it works same as the hexadecimal notation except the identical pair of characters or combined into one. That is if both digits of red, green and blue values are same, you may use the short three digit notation. CSS3 has supported additional color properties like RGBA colors, HSL colors, HSLA colors and opacity. RGBA color values are an extension of RGB color values with an alpha channel. RGBA stands for red, green, blue, alpha. Alpha specifies the opacity of a color. The alpha parameter is a number between 0.0, .0 to 1.0. RGBA is a type of CSS color value that allows us to set a color and also its opacity and transparency. RGBA color is specified with RGBA function and the formal syntax is given here. The RGBA function works like RGB function. In RGB function, it accepts three values as a parameter, which is red, green and blue values, whereas in RGBA function, it accepts the fourth value called alpha channel. That is the RGBA value is provided as a comma separated list of four values which represents red, green, blue and alpha channels respectively. The first three values that is red, green and blue can be either in integers or in percentage. The integer value 255 corresponds with the percentage value of 100%. However, on alpha channel the value should be in range of 0 to 1, 0 for fully transparent and 1 for fully opaque. And the example given here defines different RGBA colors. And you can see all the paragraph element is partially transparent with its alpha value. HSL stands for hue, saturation and lightness. The HSL function accepts the HSL value as parameter. The HSL value is provided as a comma separated list of three values providing the hue, saturation and light components respectively. The basic syntax of HSL function is given here. The hue component represents an angle of the color circle. You can specify the value as an angle in degrees or simply as a number. Hue is a degree on color wheel from 0 to 360. That is hue refers to the colors we can see. The range of colors visible to the human eye can be charted in a circle often referred to as color wheel. Therefore hue can be a value between 0 and 360. For example, if you look at the color circle, blue is at 240 degrees, so it could be written as either 240 degree or 240. Looking at the color wheel, we can see that red is at 0 degree, green is at 90 degree and purple is at 270 degree and so forth. Saturation refers to the vividness or colorfulness of the hue. A low saturation value leads to the muted hue, while the high saturation value leads to the brighter hue. Saturation can be expressed as a percentage and it can be between 0% to 100%. 100% is fully saturated that is more colorful and intense while 0% is fully unsaturated gray. Lightness refers to how light or dark the hue is. 
the higher the value the lighter the color is that is it represents the amount of light in the color and it is expressed as a percentage lightness can also be a value between 0% and 100% for lightness 50% is the normal setting while 100% is white and 0% is black and this example defines different hsl colors HSLA is just like HSL with an added alpha parameter that allow us to specify the level of transparency or opacity of the color. Alpha can be a value between 0 and 1. HSLA value is provided as a comma separated list of four values, the three HSL value which provide the hue, saturation and lightness components and the fourth value which provides the alpha channel. The alpha parameter defines the opacity. The alpha parameter is a number between 0 and 1. 0 for fully transparent and 1 for fully opaque and a value of 0 0.5 is semi transparent and here is an example of using hsla function to define colors you can tweak the hsla values to see the effect it has on output for example you can change the alpha setting to see how it changes the transparency of its element css opacity property sets the opacity for the whole element that is, you can set the transparency and opacity for both background color and text. We can say opacity is a thinner paints. The opacity property value must be a number between 0 and 1, 0 for fully transparent and 1 for fully opaque. The opacity property allows you to specify the level of opacity against an object so that it becomes semi-transparent or even fully transparent. And here is an example to show opacity property. In our example, the opacity property adds transparency to the background element and text as well and this makes the text inside the transparent element hard to read. To not apply opacity to the text, like in our example, you can use RGBA color values. The RGBA will set the opacity for the background color but not for the text. And that's all for this session. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.